Okay, you're welcome. Um, you're welcome to this free Well Again webinar. Um, I know some of us are already in the house. Thank you for joining. Um, we want to discuss why COVID-19 kills fast and how to abate it. My name is Dr. Chris Williams. I am the host of um, Family Health on TV and Well Again webinars. You're welcome, all right? Um, if you already are in the house, I would like to uh, know where you are watching from. So you may just type in and then so we can know exactly where you are viewing from. All right. And then um, after this session, there will be another session uh, starting from 1 p.m. All right. Um, yes. Um, If you just know, let us know where you are coming from. Okay, I did from US. Wow, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for joining, I did all the way from the US. So welcome. All right. Um, uh, more persons. More persons. Ngozi from Lagos. Ngozi Mugu from Lagos. Thank you uh, for joining. And I'm sure we'll learn a whole lot of things today. Things that will help us, uh, that help save our lives and help us be used uh, to save other people's lives. There's also Anne from Lagos. Anne is watching from Lagos. Um, you are welcome to this time out. Why COVID-19 kills fast and how to avert it. Why COVID-19 kills fast and how to avert it. Well, again, uh, webinar. All right, um, somebody else from Ifeware Oshu State, Olani Yolajide, you are welcome, Ola. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in. Um, uh, so that just to meet some of us and then um, we'll kick off in a few minutes. To kick off in a few minutes. Okay, I'm seeing Bolaji from Ibadan. Bolaji is also a uh, in the house. You're welcome, Balaji. Um, I am in no doubt that we're going to learn a whole lot today. We're going to learn so, so much today. We're going to learn so, so much today. All right. Um, just a few more persons. I'm seeing Grace Sosemo. I'm seeing Arison. Uh, Arison. Okay, that's Arison Modi. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks, uh, man, for joining in. That's my uh, younger brother there. Is also being all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. All right. Uh, we, we, we are going to uh, uh, first know what COVID is all about, and then we'll talk about the different stages of the infection uh, and the different stages of the disease. Sorry. We're also going to talk about ways we can prevent it, and then we'll talk about um, the treatment modalities that they are using now, just to let us know. It's important we say that uh, uh, by I am in, in no way or by no means trying to prescribe here. Thank you. Somebody is uh, watching from Uko uh, and from Uko. You're welcome. I'm by no means or in no way trying to prescribe on this program. I am not at all. All right. Um, allow me David D from Lagos. Thank you so much for joining. So all the information we are going to get here are not prescriptions at all. All right, but we just want to uh, bring us to speed concerning what COVID is and uh, how it will go from here so that you have some knowledge. They say knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So I will just um, kick off right away. Why COVID-19 kills fast and how to avert it. Um, 
um, one of my some people would say, even if I don't know anything, I know I have to start from from the first principles, from the A. So we start from the first principle. COVID-19 is a new strain of virus. It's a new strain of virus from the family of coronaviruses, okay? And it is transmitted by, by uh, droplets. If one makes contact with droplets from an infected person, maybe droplets from their mouth or their saliva or droplets from their from their nose, okay? Uh, uh, if they, they cough, for instance, and then they, 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 it lands on the table, and then you touch it, and then the, before you know it, your time, your hand uh, goes to your to your nostril or to your mouth, um, you can get infected, you can get infected. So it's transmitted by droplets, okay? Starting from the first principles, all of us know this by now. Um, NCDC, as at, uh, as at uh, about 12 hours ago, uh, tell tell us that we have about 11,804 confirmed uh, uh, cases in Nigeria and um, 3,696 discharged. And then in throughout Nigeria, we have deaths, 333 deaths already. We have 333 deaths already. I was listening to the Commissioner of Health, uh, Lagos State Commissioner of Health yesterday, and he said that they found out uh, since about four months that we started uh, uh, that we started this battle, that the death rate in Lagos uh, remains just above or just under one percent, and that is good news. That's good news. That's good news. Thank God for, for that. Somebody somebody had suggested uh, many months ago when we this thing just started that they see dead bodies on the street of Africa. Uh, uh, now um, it is not turning out to be so. We just thank God uh, for uh, His mercies. All right. Um, now, uh, uh, one of the reasons I decided to do this is for you to know that there's really no need to be petrified. There's no need to be alarmed. There's no need to literally reduce yourself to a prisoner just because of COVID. I met a, a, a I met somebody, an apparently pastor, a couple of days ago, and he told me how that he, he has literally like imprisoned himself for many days and I said he went home, he left home for over 40 days and all that. And you know, some of the things, what he was saying was not close to COVID at all. I was just laughing as he was telling me, all right? He was not close to the symptoms and the signs of COVID at all. He, 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 he left home and you know, and he was in pain. He had come to see me yesterday because of depression. I said, what you subjected yourself to would have caused depression any, any day, okay? So it's important we know so that if we know, we know, if we eventually, if we by mistake contact it or if we meet somebody who, who is battling with it, we will know what information to help the person with. Uh, now, the incubation period we know about COVID-19 uh, is that it's between two days and 14 days. In other words, it takes between two days and 14 days for somebody who just got infected to start manifesting signs. There are different stages, uh, not stages, different types, or should I say different, different classes of manifestation of COVID, okay? There are some persons who, though they have the virus on their inside, they remain asymptomatic. They are not feeling anything. They don't even know uh, if they, if they, uh, if they, they, if the, the, the test is done and they see that they have COVID, it's just by mistake. They didn't present anything. There are many people like that. And it's important to understand that. That's why you, we cannot um, drop our guards because there are many people, especially um, amongst us, who are asymptomatic. A father may have it and he will not know and he's just going on loving his children, loving his family, and then he transmits it. Also, an, another stage or another type of manifestation of COVID is when it is mild. When it's a mild case, the person will be having some generalized body pain and then sometimes headache. And that's all. That's all. Okay? And then another manifestation is um, when it becomes, when if something is not done uh, for the person uh, who are present with mild, mild presentations, mild signs and symptoms, it may, it may, it may uh, progress to the moderate stage. And it's, that's why it's important while listening to this. Because if you know what to do while it is still mild, COVID is not a dead sentence. I like what somebody said. He says, COVID is not a sentence, it's a word. 
so that you have uh, contracted COVID. It's not, not a death sentence at all. If you do the wrong, it's nobody. moderate the patients and then by this time with general malaise they are they are sick they want to be in bed they are feeling unwell and then their temperature is raised okay that's a, a moderate uh, manifestation and then we have the severe manifestation in the severe manifestation the person is now having breathing problems. They are having breathing difficulties and then they may have the proper treatment or the person does not respond well to, to treatment, uh, they may die. All right. Uh, it's also important to underline uh, diseases like diabetes, like hypertension, people who, who have some chronic diseases before, like asthma, they can be more susceptible to being uh, elderly people from 65 and above, they don't do too well with COVID. And I must say here, because we'll talk a, a bit about it, it's all a product of, uh, of uh, immunity. What makes somebody not a COVID patient that before they called the NCDC and the NCDC came to carry them, at least the person was sick, okay? What makes somebody not a COVID patient and they eventually test the person and the person doesn't have it. And then another person just walks into a COVID uh, carrier in a, in a lift or in an elevator and then they carry it. Is immunity difference, and we are going to be uh, taking time to really discuss our immunity. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of COVID-19 infection? What are the signs and symptoms? Number one, well, I, I, this is I'm not saying this in in any particular order, but you find all this, all of these things may not be present in a particular person, but we could aggregate. Fever. There can be a manifestation of fever. It can be a manifestation of myalgia. Myalgia is generalized uh, body pain. Uh, uh, the person may, may manifest with cough, mostly non-productive cough. The person may manifest with chest pain. The person may manifest with, uh, with pink sputum. By the time somebody is manifesting with pink sputum, that is uh, uh, sputum that is uh, blood stained. And that, that thing has really progressed. So there may be myalgia, there may be shortness of breath, there may be cough, non-productive cough, there may be chest pain. If it affects, and it does as it progresses, if, if, if it's affecting the gastrointestinal system, it can present with vomiting, and such persons can also prevent with diarrhea. They can prevent with fatigue, weakness. They're just tired, you know, general feeling of unwell. And then if it affects the respiratory tract, it can uh, present with anosmia, something called anosmia, the, 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 the loss of, of uh, smell, loss of the sensation of smell. Also accompanying that can be a loss of the sens sensation of taste, all right? So all these things, all these things. You, you, uh, so in this season, if you start having sharpness of breath, and you are, or maybe you start having chest pain or cough and all that, we are going to tell you what things you need to do, what steps you need to take, so that if, in case it is COVID, it doesn't uh, go ahead and degenerate to life-threatening uh, conditions. Now, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the pathology. Pathology means how it causes this, uh, how it how it does its work in the body. How COVID does its uh, In medical, but I will try to ask you. KFG is an G reaction. Uh -oh. It's called there's line one. 
also virus, other virus, or even any bacteria. Once they sense and protein first of that infected with the COVID virus, macrophages will rush to the site and try to swallow that antigen. We call it antigen. And then they will call uh, T helper cells or T cells. T cells, there are uh, some, some, I uh, mean now, the, the body, what makes up the immunity in the body? They will wave to the T cells. About um, 20, hundred, hundreds of types of, of T cells, okay? Um, and each type is in the millions in the world. Very powerful, okay? Um, so about 25 different types of T cells will be, will be invited to come and join the war. And then... That's when somebody gets uh, infected with another disease. I will explain the one for COVID. T cells, about 25 different types, are joined, million, in their millions, are joined, called to come and join the war. They, in turn, also invite the T helper cells and then the basophils and then the, the war, they curtail or contain infection. But COVID is funny. What scientists and doctors found, thank God for the doctors in, in uh, in Italy, when this thing started, the the authorities asked that the, uh, uh, autopsies be not be done on on dying on on dead people. But as they were dying now in Italy, the doctors in Italy, are we going to be dying like this? So they decided to risk doing an autopsy. And what they found was so different from what the whole world has been treating. What what? was the old world treating the old world was treating a mere infection okay uh, he flu he gets in town he causes a pneumonia and all that that's what we're treating but if uh, this covid also has plenty of bleeding issues and then it attacks not only the lung cells it attacks others other organs in the body it attacks the heart it attacks the liver it attacks the kidney it attacks the spleen and it attacks all these things okay so what COVID does, it does its hard work, the difference between an infection with COVID and an infection with other things is that COVID causes an overwhelming T cells response. I said in, in normal or everyday infections, about 25 groups of T cells are invited to join the war. But in COVID, an enormous over, enormously overwhelming Type is literally riot in the body. There's literally riot in the, in the when, when that happens. Now, uh, quickly, uh, as we are going on, there's something called C, CCL3, CCL3, CCL4, CCL5. These are things that are released. They are chemical messengers that are released. And, and when they are released by these alpha cells or T cells, they, they, they recruit CCR5 cells and all that. I know that is jargon. I, I warned you. I warned you. Now, what all this leads to is what they call a cytokine storm. Cytokine storm. Cytokine. C Y T O K I N E E. What the whole body, there is an enormously overwhelming response of inflammatory reactions in the body. And this causes confusion. The best way I will describe it is this. If they say some people invaded a part of Lagos, let's say the Lupeju, and then the government of Nigeria decides to marshal and machinate all the armies, all the, all the uh, 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 soldiers, sorry, and all the policemen in Nigeria to come to Ilupeju to come and battle that band of people. Imagine what will happen in Lagos. 
there will be chaos. Nobody will be able to go out. The body, the, the state will literally grind to a halt. It will be like a war zone. That's what happens with COVID. The body over, overreacts, cytokine storm, and causes a lot of this. What does it lead to? It leads to overwhelming inflammation. There's pneumonia. There's uh, uh, inf inf inflammation, swelling of the lung tissues. There's also lung parenchyma fibrosis. Lungs begin to, to dry up. They begin to form fiber or fiber-like fiber, fiber -like tissues. It's called fibrosis. So the person's breathing begins to be affected. And then there's also uh, uh, enormous platelet, platelet aggregation, the inactivation of platelets. So the platelets also go to all kinds of things begin to happen. And before you know it, it leads to bleeding. So what the doctors in Italy found was that there's also bleeding. When they uh, uh, did autopsy, they saw bleeding in the lungs. They did, they checked the kidney, they saw bleeding. Micro buildings, blood clots being forming, being formed, sorry, and bleeding in the lungs and in the heart and all that. That's why it was killing people anyhow. That's why it was killing people anyhow. So it don't on, on, on the medical world, now, we are not dealing only with just an inflammation. We are dealing with what you call diffuse uh, uh, thrombotic react or coagulation, diffuse formation of platelets everywhere. So there's lung parenchyma fibrosis, there's platelet activation. Uh, other organs, remember I said cytokines are also find CCL5 are found in kidney, they are found, found in livers, they are found in, uh, in the heart. So the lung is not the only thing destroyed. The kidney is being affected, the heart is being affected, and then before you know it, it begins to lead to, to, uh, to shock. The multiple, multiple organ destruction begins to lead to shock and then eventually death, okay? Uh, okay. Now, uh, having explained that, I want to quickly go on so that we can have uh, some time to talk about what to do. There's something called head reaction, head, H-E-R-O-D, head, you know, head of flock, okay? Headsman, you remember? H-E-R-O-D, he, he talks about community, community, head. Now, there's something called head immunity. COVID will not just disappear. COVID will not just, thank you, uh, 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 and somebody is writing it there, head immunity, head reaction. COVID will not just, will not wake up one day and COVID has disappeared. What will happen is the world will come up to it in, in this space to be able to understand and use the example of something like malaria. Now, malaria is endemic in Nigeria, in Africa. We use COVID can become a matter of least concern or less concern. We have to have reached a, a, a place where at least 70% of the populations of the people of the world, of any particular nation, have the antibody to COVID in their blood. Having the antibody to COVID in the blood means that one way or the other, the person has been infected or exposed to COVID. 
one way or the other. And I will tell you the three ways by which we can be exposed. So for COVID, by calculation, this is gotten by calculation, there has to be 50 to 70 percent. Uh, um, people have to, they have to be 50 to 70 percent carriers the antibodies of COVID. Now, the meaning is this. There are three ways we can get to that 50 to 70 percent. Either we open up the whole country, open up the whole place, let people go about their work, tell people no need to, 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 to wear masks. I mean, we just become carefree and let COVID ravage. This is an option. It's not a good option, but it's an option. And let COVID ravage. As it is ravaging, people will be uh, being exposed to it. They will be developing antibodies. They will be developing antibodies. And then when we reach 50 to 7, between 50% to 70% presence of antibodies in people, then COVID would have developed herd immunity. Now, of course, that is not good because many people would have died before by that time. I mean, just 11,000 cases, about 333 people have died. Another way to quickly reach herd immunity is by vaccination, widespread vaccination. In vaccination, they take the, 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 the antigen. They take the, the antigen. That, the, by the antigen, I mean the, the virus. The virus that is uh, dead, either dead or weakened. We call it life attenuated uh, antigen or dead antigen. They will take it and they use it to make a, a, a vaccine. And then they take the vaccine and put it in, your, in the people's body. And then the people, because the, the vaccines that they put inside the person, inside the person they are vaccinating is either very weakened or dead, then the body will quickly be able to, 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 to handle it. The, remember I talked about the, the macrophages, the T cells, the B cells and all that. They will be able to overcome it. Now, by so doing, the person develops immunity. Somebody had asked a question on a forum where I was involved one time, that can somebody become reinfected with COVID? And technically, the answer is no. Technically, all things being equal. But you know, in life, many times, all things are never equal. Uh, depends on the depends on how fast the strain of COVID can change its strain, how fast it can uh, uh, mutate. Okay, but that's a, a, a that's a technical question for for some persons. Okay, uh, so. But we know that if you develop the antibodies, you are over to some extent. So the second, first way, allow everybody to start getting infected anyhow, and then many people will die. We don't want that. And that's what the governments of the world did right. When they, de 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 when they prescribed lockdown, people stay in your houses, and then it slowed the rate at which the, 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 the infections were spreading, okay? Now, they have opened, and people are going out. Okay, the next thing to do is vaccination, but vaccinations are not ready. And that brings me to why I called this seminar. The, another thing to now do is prophylaxis. And you are the one who will do this for yourself, not the government. Government, it doesn't, there, there's no vaccine anywhere in the world yet that all the vaccines are still on trial. And then we cannot just watch ourselves being stricken down with COVID. So we will need to go the way of vaccination. What do I mean by vaccination? What do I mean by vaccination? So uh, we need to go the way of prophylaxis. We've talked about um, free, free for all, getting it and dying. We've talked about vaccination, but it's not ready to be a good one. Vaccination that is uh, clean, that does not have any strings attached. Vaccination that does not, uh, is not intended to slave you and enslave humanity. That one is important. That one is clean, if they bring that one. Everybody should go for it. It's very good. But then, they, we, another way we can go about it that you and, you and I can do for ourselves is prophylaxis, by prophylaxis. In other words, especially if you're a health worker, in other words, increasing your own immunity by building it up naturally. There are two ways to prophylaxis. We'll talk about it. Uh, how do you increase and build up your own immunity naturally? Like I said earlier, it's a matter of immunity. immunity. Somebody not sees a COVID patient and doesn't come down with it. I've seen 
People have come to me who say, my wife has hepatitis this. But I don't have it. In fact, I met, just this morning, I, 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 I met a couple who the wife has had hepatitis for, tw for 12 years. And now, the man doesn't have it. Till up until now, the man doesn't have it. Okay? And separately, people, I've met people who, uh, one spouse is HIV positive, and then the other one is not HIV positive. It's immunity. It's immunity. Doing this does not uh, pre... Let me not use the grammar because, um, okay, let, let me leave that. It, it does not remove the fact that we have to do the things we need to do in order to be saved. It does not negate the, the need for using of face masks, the need for uh, uh, highest level hygienic, hygienicity, washing of hands, using of eye sanitizers. It does not negate the importance of social distancing. It does not ne negate the importance of wearing masks and staying at home if you can, especially if you are 65 years and above. That's possible if it's within you, it's important that you stay at home. All right? But while we're staying at home, because this thing is difficult. Okay, an elder now stays at home. But the, 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 the son or the husband's, uh, the, the daughter's wife, or, or the, or maybe the is about the contact you can go ahead and buy it. If you take about three grams of vitamin C on a daily basis, it will help you. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant and most in no, take advantage to be established if the, the antioxidant inside the body is not as powerful. Vitamin C, vitamin C, very important. Also, zinc, zinc. Zinc is also a supplement. By the time you are taking about 100 milligrams, to help you. And if you are diabetic, you need zinc. If you are hypertensive, taking zinc will help you to control your blood, your, your blood pressure. And many of, that's not the of zinc, taking of vitamin C, and then also, uh, uh, before I go on, uh, let me say what, what how powerful zinc is in all these things. Zinc reduces virus replication. If the virus happens to find its way into one's body, and the person is not low in zinc, the virus will add a hard time replicating or multiplying, okay? But, but the problem with zinc, is that it is charged. It cannot easily enter into the cell. And that's the place of things like uh, uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen chloroquine that they are using. We'll talk about that. Don't forget, this is not a prescription. Where, where it's important. It's important you check out all these things with your, with your doctor before you use it. Where because this is for information purposes. It's very, very, very important. Information purposes. Okay, so what things like hydroxychloroquine does, I remember at the beginning of this, uh, uh, Trump told the peoples of the world that they are using azithromycin and uh, hydroxychloroquine. What hydroxychloroquine does is, is that it, it uh, takes zinc by the hand and draws zinc into the cell. So if zinc is able to open the cell and, and the replication of the virus, the multiplication of virus inside the cell is uh, slowed down. Okay, uh, okay, so uh, we say that hydroxychloroquine is a zinc ionophone. It helps zinc to enter into the cell. Uh, now, quercetin, there's a supplement called quercetin, Q U E R, Q U E R C E T I N, Q U E R C E T I N. Quercetin is also a supplement, and uh, it can also as a zinc ionophone. So you are on vitamin C, you are on zinc, you are on quercetin, and then um, uh, um, uh, um, this can help you. Some other, now, um, what are the foods that contain these things? Because I always start with food. I will usually tell my, my, my clients or people who come for counseling that we call them supplements because they are supplementing something. Okay, they are supposed the supplements are not supposed to replace the things we are supplementing, they are supplementing. So, what are they supposed to supplement? Food, 
And that's why I made a list for you, okay? That's why I made a list for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting a signal that I need to begin to wind up. Okay, for instance, zinc is found in foods like ginger. So I've heard people testify that they have something that I look at. I saw one WhatsApp, a man said their mother was uh, diagnosed positive with it, I think in UK, and they did ginger with garlic, and then they added the lemon, and then in a few weeks, she turned uh, uh, negative. So zinc is found in ginger, in legumes, legumes, a good example of legumes is beans. Cocoa powder, cocoa powder is found in sesame seeds, found in seeds. Zinc is also found in cashew nuts. Zinc is found in cereals, especially oats, oats. Okay, zinc is found also in whole grains. Now, quercetin, quercetin is found in onions, onions, and the uh, things that are in that family, onions, the, the uh, onions, ginger, uh, garlic, uh, quercetin is also found in green leafy vegetables, G garlic, ginger, berries include a lot of quercetin. What other, and then there's another um, antioxidant that I have not mentioned. That antioxidant, I call it the father of all antioxidants. While vitamin C is the mother of all antioxidants, this one is the father of all antioxidants. And it goes by the name glutathione. Glutathione. Glutathione can be found in broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, avocado, in, uh, in uh, garlic, in onion, in leeks, and all that. Now, so glutathione. Now, the thing about glutathione is that it is not absorbed directly, except through food, except if you eat it through food. But if you take a supplement of glutathione, it's not, it, it doesn't get direct, uh, uh, it doesn't get well absorbed into the body. So if you must take supplements of glutathione, you must take them in form of the precursors of glutathione. What are the precursors of glutathione? Alpha lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic acid. It's a precursor, very good precursor of uh, uh, um, glutathione. And then there's another supplement that's also a good precursor of glutathione, and that is N-acetyl acid. N iPhone, acetyl, A C T I Y T Y L 16. Sorry, N acetyl 16, not acid. N acetyl 16. A C E T Y L and then 16. C Y S T E I N. It's a very powerful precursor of glutathione. Acet uh, NAC, I call it NAC. N acetyl acid, very, very powerful. Very powerful. It, and besides being a precursor for glutathione, by itself, it also reduces platelet aggregation. It reduces fibrosis that, the, that is caused by the, by the uh, uh, COVID disease. It also uh, inhibits clotting factor. So if somebody has it, and then the person gets to the point where they, they want to begin to bleed, it doesn't allow that disease to claim the person's life. So very important. Now, so... I talked about ginger, I've talked a lot about garlic, cinnamon also. These are anti-inflammatory things that thin blood. We call them blood thinners. Turmeric, cinnamon, garlic, ginger. They are blood thinners and they have the power to make sure that the inflammation doesn't go out of hand. And also, if the disease enters the body, it will not lead to platelet aggregation which eventually leads to uh, widespread bleeding, okay? So also, alkaline water, anything that alkalizes you, alkaline water, you can get some water that are alkaline, okay? Uh, because one of the things that, uh, one of the ways hydroxychloroquine that they are using, they are still doing studies in Nigeria. We are not prescribing, I must say. It. Yeah, I'm just giving information. They are still doing studies in Nigeria. I heard yesterday the, the Commissioner for Health Legal State saying that they are doing clinical trials on hydroxy uh, uh, chloroquine. And then also one of our SY ministers, who is also a doctor, when you remember, I, I, I will not uh, like to mention his name, when he, he was infected and he was treated, he came out and he told us some of the things with which they were treated with, okay? Hydroxy chloroquine was there 
azithromas was there, azithromycin was there, and then um, these some other things. It's important. Now, let me say this before I, I round up. It is very illegal for you to have indicate. You are not helping us because the numbers are important. COVID disease or COVID uh, 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 pandemic is a public uh, uh, public health crisis. The, the, you need to call the authorities so that they can register you. It, they don't have to, it's not mandatory that they will carry you and go and isolate you. It's not my, at, at least as, as, as from two weeks from now, the, the commissioner for health legal state said they are going to uh, uh, open places and do stuff that will help some persons, especially the person who is asymptomatic but tested positive, and the person who has mild infection, they are going to put systems in place where the person, such person can be treated at home and the authorities will be calling in and visiting them while at home because all the isolation centers are overfilled, okay? Uh, so, but it's important that you call out. It's important that you call and register and then they will test you. There, there are test kits that have been sold everywhere, some rapid testing kits that have been sold everywhere. My suggestion, those test kits, many of them have false, false positives and false negatives. False positive, positive means it will come out saying that you are positive. Meanwhile, you are not. And then you carry yourself to isolation center, they put you in the middle of people who have COVID and then you eventually catch it. False, neg uh, false negative means you have it, it can say you don't have it. And then you'll be at home, you'll be infecting everybody, you'll be distributing free, distributing it freely within the estate. Okay? I, I know Jesus said uh, freely you have received, freely you should give, but not like for COVID. Not like for COVID. Very important. So um, that's why it's important to call out that, that it. Test kit that they use, they use the PCR molecule test, and that one is really, it is really, um, what's it called now? It is, uh, it is uh, accurate. That's the word. All right. Uh, so um, I don't know if you have questions. I would like to field uh, some uh, uh, questions. Okay. Um, I'm sure we have learned some today. AADS is, is in the house. Uh, thanks for joining. All right. Yetunde is in the house. Thanks for joining. Be, 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 before I forget, uh, lest I forget, before we finish this, uh, if you're in the house, you need to take uh, a snapshot of yourself and send it, uh, and then so that we can use it to build uh, a, 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 a profile. A photo profile. Okay. You, okay. Okay. All right. Now, so these are the questions. If you didn't understand anything, the next 10 minutes, I'll be doing uh, justice to our questions. I'm seeing one. So I want to know is the the coronavirus a natural virus? That's a good question. <laughs> and that's, uh, it's not a question I would have loved to answer on this platform. <laughs> because uh, this issue is very highly politicized. Very highly. But personally, okay, um, natural plus. Uh, there's something about it. Viruses don't behave, and all natural virus don't behave like corona has behaved. Okay, so let's just leave it there. All right. Um, somebody said, what type of zinc, sir? Zinc sulfate. Zinc sulfate is better. And another person said, ginger, legumes, cereals, whole grains, and, and all that. Another, okay, so the person is helping us to. And children take all the mentioned supplements to build their immunity. Well, if you get the 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 uh, syrup varieties, it's okay. You know, children take vitamin C now. Children take vitamin C, and then um, we talked about quercetin. I'm sure uh, if you cannot give them these supplements, you can go the food way. That's why we talk about the foods that you can also use. Okay, very very important. 
So I want to know, if, okay, uh, that question has been answered, it has been fielded before. Can all the antioxidants in powder form be effective? I'll read that again. Can all the antioxidants in powder form be effective? Why not? Uh, uh, the vitamin C I use is in powder form, and I really love it. Just half a teaspoon of it could give somebody about three grams. In my family, actually, we take about we must take up to five to seven grams on, on a daily basis, okay? Uh, another question says, please, how do you suggest someone with um, gastroesophageal reflux disease take ginger, garlic, and the rest? I will uh, advise that for this person to take the tablets or you take the, the, the supplements because if you are, especially the ginger, the garlic doesn't really burn you, okay? But the ginger, please, I must take, I must say, if you take number one, all these things are for information purpose. Okay, it's important. They are not prescriptions. But if you want to do, you must be very mild. Don't go and pack all the ginger in the world and take it, and then your tummy begins to pain you, and then you begin to look for who to call. Okay, it's so very important. And then if you just take a tablet of zinc, all the ginger, all the zinc that ginger would have given you you will also have the same. Now, sir, okay, somebody says the network is bad. Can we have all you discuss sent to our emails? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. Uh, uh, both this session and the next session, and there are many people, there are hundreds of people who wanted to enter these two sessions, but they couldn't, okay? We are going to send to your email the YouTube channel where you are going to have, the, uh, to have them to view at your time please let's all okay somebody has helped me say that thank you god will help you say it okay please let's all turn on our video so we can take a virtual photograph at the end of this webinar all right thank you the people who are at the at the backstage helping me all right um any other questions any other questions because i want to time out and then the next I, uh, uh, that's 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I see Lillian Anyebe. Thank you for joining. Uh, Ellen, I see Similei uh, Femioni and several other persons. Any other question? Any other question before I sign out? Any other question? Elisha, thank you for, for being with us. Okay. Okay, so, so, so that is it. He, 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 we, we don't have to become petrified about Corona. When all this started, I knew that God will help the peoples of the world to, to, to nab Corona. And God has helped a long way uh, be, before long. Proper protocols for treatment will come out before long. Lagos State Commissioner for Health says they will decentralize the, the treatment they were going to they, they are going to uh, uh, empower some private hospitals to begin to do it they are also going to empower their uh, primary health centers to begin to do it so if you have corona or you know somebody who has corona don't let them hide in the house until the thing becomes so terrible and then they die nobody has to die from corona nobody has to die from not if you are building your immunity like we are saying and then if you if eventually it happens uh, you, you quickly call out for help, you will be helped. What will happen is that it will be doing like that until we develop 50 to 70 percent herd immunity, and then um, it will literally become something like malaria. Something, it's not exactly, but something like malaria. You, you don't hear malaria now as an African, as a Niger man. You don't hear malaria now, and then you, 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 you say, I will not go to work. <laughs> the most is let the mosquito come and bite you. From your mother has given you what it takes to, 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 to deal with it. We are going to get there. We are not getting there now. I must say it again. Your mask, face, wearing of your face mask is important. Uh, washing your hands and using your hand sanitizer is very important. 
um, doing all the other things, social isolation, very important, very, very important. They have announced, now I'm a pastor, and you know, they have announced that we should go back to church, and um, it's important we do all that. They have also said children from 15 years and down, and adults from 65 years and above should not come to church, which is good. Let them stay at home. We that are strong people will come to church. And if you're a child of God, you don't have to stay at home just because of fear of COVID. You go to work, now you go to market. Okay, so do the right things okay. and then uh, live your life. But make sure that you are taking precaution. Okay, so you can take your picture now and send it to me. Okay. Okay, okay, there's a question. I'm told there's a question. Okay, it's reload, reload okay for women. That's, I think there's a reload for women. You can use it. It's, it's a multivitamin, but not, you can use it, okay? But not for what we are saying. I've mentioned some things that are very important, that are very important. And therefore, the people who are also on aspirin normally, um, uh, aspirin is also a, a, a blood thinner. It will not allow the infection to get to the point where it is causing blotting in our systems. Thank you. Any dear Olamide Urut, I sign out right now. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Yeah.